software will enable you to send multiple letters containing the same information to multiple different people by customizing individual parts of that particular letter. If you think about your report card you received from the high school, that is an example of a mail merge being used. One template is created and information pertaining to you as a specific student is then inserted. In order to start a mail merge, you're going to use the Tools menu and come down to Mail Merge Manager. Everything you do from here on out pertaining to a mail merge is going to be found on the Mail Merge Manager. Step one is to create new and choose form letters. Just because it says form letters does not mean you have to create a letter. The second part is you're going to create a list of individuals who are going to be in your data. Choose New Data Source. It's then going to ask you what fields or placeholders or categories of information you want to include. I am going to eliminate job title because I won't be using that. I'm going to eliminate company because I won't need that. Address to, country region, home phone, and work phone I will remove. You can also add your own placeholders or fields that you want in your database as well. I'm going to select OK. It is then going to ask me to save this particular data. In this case, I'm going to save it as insurance and the word data behind it. It is imperative that you save your information accurately because they will all link together in the end. It is then going to ask me to key in the information about each person. My first person is Ms. Angelo Martinez, which is on 928 Ellsworth Drive, Once I am done with this particular person, I simply hit Add New, and I can add the second person. If I'm done adding my information, I can simply select OK. Notice now, over on my Data Merge Manager, Mail Merge Manager, I now have those fields that I had keyed. Your next step is to actually key the letter or the information that you want to appear on your document. I'm going to key a letter to these individuals in regards to their current insurance. I'm going to start with the date, hit return four times, and then I'm going to place their placeholders in, starting with title, between each field, you do need to place the spacebar. So title, first name, space, last name, return. I'm going to place their address on the next line. And then the city, comma, space, state, space, and their zip code. Whoops. Place their postal code where it belongs. Return two times. I'm going to type the word dear. Go back up and do their title, space, and their last name. Return two times and I'm going to key the beginning of a letter. Now, we'll say my letter is done. It is time to preview my results. Down below in the fifth step is a preview results option. If I click on ABCs, it'll show me the view merge data. So once I click on that, you will see it no longer says title, first name, last name, but it says Ms. Angeli Angelo Martinez. I know I have two records or two individuals in my data. If I go to my next record, that information will change. Notice all information that I keyed stays the same any placeholder information will change. Once you deem your letter to be perfect, you can go ahead and complete the merge. You have two choices. You can merge your letters directly to the printer 
or you can merge them to a new document. In this case, we are going to merge it to a new document, noticing that an entirely new document will appear, Form Letters 1, first letter goes out to Ms. Angeline Lo Martinez, scrolling down, you will see Dr. Anita Burton's letter. You now have the option to print these letters and send them to each individual person.